Hi my lovelies, we are back. An expensive wig read number 11. As always, I am wearing the wig from the last week. I don't have an update on this one. I, I didn't wear it this week, so I can't really tell you what I think. But I kind of feel like with more wears, it gets a little more cooperative and I kind of like it just from teasing it today. First of all, do not mind this. This was the worst gel color of all time. Do you see this? Ratchet. Don't even mind that. Like, I spent too much goddamn money on Fenty to get my nails done this week, so that shit gonna have to wait. So I brought the wine back to the wiggeries. And what I decided I was gonna do was, I was going to always say what it is that I'm drinking while we're doing it. So this is gonna be a Sauvignon Blanc. It is from Chile. It is circa 2016. And it is called Anakina. It is a twist off because ain't nobody got time for corks. Also, corks is a gimmick. You don't really, it's not really so much of a better wine as it is just they can charge you more for it. Fun fact. Ooh, it's bitter and dry. My favorite kind of wine. But um, anyway, I have a new wig and we are hopping right into this one. Funny story about this, I ordered these two wigs together because I wanted to kind of do like a back-to-back -back bangs video because I've never worn or ordered a synthetic wig with bangs. So, yeah, never ordered. I own one, but I've never ordered. I've ordered these two together, both from Amazon, and this one got lost in travel. Or not even lost in travel, it, it was in my local post office and it was in the wrong bin for whatever like I don't know they called me randomly I, I had to call Amazon tell them I never got it they refunded me the money and then literally two weeks after I ordered it I got a phone call because I made a claim the day I called Amazon I got a phone call saying that they found my package and it would be delivered to my house that night and that was during this week so it was perfect timing because I didn't have to order a new wig but this, yes, I know, is a little bit more on the traditional side of what I typically order. But this is kind of like more of ash than any of like the other blondes that I get. And it's brown and then ash blonde. And it has bangs. So I, I, I see that as different. I just really was digging this wig on the mannequin. And I love the wave pattern. Like it, it's really like, that's really pretty. It's silky, but it still, ha it feels like a natural texture it feels thick at the top and like a little bit thinner down here it is exactly like the other cap it has no pins just adjustable straps and this wig ran me I think it ran me like 18 bucks but I will have the price obviously in the um, title I can't see it being more than 20 so you know I had to take advantage so let's try the wig on Okay, so let's just say I don't think I'm the biggest fan of these wigs with bangs. I, I just don't, well off the top, and this is like pre-manipulation, this is not cutting the bangs or anything. I, I understand that they're going to give you longer bangs so that you can cut them to your desired length. The color, I'm in love with. This is almost identical to my hair color, like literally. So I'm, I definitely can fuck with the hair color. I feel like it's too thin. Like, this is all the hair. That's it. I feel like I don't have any hair. It, it brushes through really well and still maintains that wave. So I'm not gonna, I feel like I'm not gonna have to really worry about trying to revive these waves because they kind of feel like they are like imprinted in this hair and I know that I'm probably not gonna really wear this as often and if I do I'll probably wear a scully with this because I'm in love with the way this looks on my face this this hair I'm in love with it I'm just not really a fan of the way this top is but I will definitely cut these bangs I'm not feeling this no clips in the hair because I don't feel like 
looking for bobby pins when I've already sat down with everything I need for these videos. I'm not getting up to go look for bobbies. So because of the color, I'll take the L on it not being that thick. And I definitely will keep this on with a hat. Like even with the bangs. Well, this isn't terrible. I don't hate this. I, I, I like this wig. It's just not love, love, love. You know what I'm saying? Yup. You see that? I'm definitely on my Taylor Swift bang shit right now, though. This is gonna be so fire with a hat. I'm definitely, and even better with a scully once it's winter. Yeah, I'm gonna be lit with this. The reason I can't put it all the way down is because how much need her hair done under this way? I like it. I like it. But like I said, it's 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 thin. It's it's real thin. Let's do this 360 on his hair. But this being thick here and this being thin here is giving me a little bit of like trailer park chic. I'm lit. Now this color fit me though. It fit me though. So <laughs> what y'all think? Let me know. I hope to have a little more enthusiasm about these wigs. I know I typically I'm just you know <sighs> I'm all in my feelings and shit about how hype I am about a wig and I know I've been kind of like drab up this last couple of well these last two wiggeries like I said I'm not just pleased but that's going to do it for this episode of inexpensive wiggery I'm going to keep asking y'all to give me some suggestions down below y'all going to keep not doing it but if somebody want to hold me down and suggest some hair to me, I appreciate you. So, with that said, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and y'all be cool like how y'all be cool as always. Will we be the Heathers? Have a good day. <laughs>